Hello everyone, today I'm answering questions about the deadlift. Can you dreadlift as much as Drangus Green? I could if I wanted to. Jose Laba97 says, I'm a long-legged individual. I have noticed that deadlifting in conventional is extremely difficult for me because I don't have room to straighten my upper back. I fix this problem by deadlifting with an incredibly narrow stance. Should I switch to sumo because my deadlifts are extremely inconsistent from week to week or keep going on with a narrow stance? Well, if you're just switching to sumo only because you don't think that you can deadlift with a conventional stance, I, I wouldn't suggest that. If you want to go to sumo, sure, you can. Usually when I work with clients who have very long legs, I have them do a frog stance deadlift to where their toes are out much more, a gr much greater toe angle than someone else. And what that does is it really pushes their knees out. So again, you can bend your knees without having them travel too far forward and get in the way of the bar. So you have this frog stance where your knees are pushing out really hard. That tends to work for taller individuals. New moth, one, two, three, pause on the way up or pause on the way down for pause deadlifts? And what percentage for pause deadlifts? Usually I pause on the way up, but sometimes I'll have a client pause on the way up and on the way down. I've never prescribed pause on the way down only. Sometimes if a client has trouble keeping their back flat, I'll make them pause on the way up and pause on the way down just to increase that time under tension that they have to keep their back set. And what percentage for pause deadlifts? It depends on the individual. Some people really struggle uh, with that pause. Some people are much better at it. Usually people who pull really explosively and fast off the floor might struggle a bit more than someone who pulls slowly off the ground. Uh, that's like saying, you know, what percentage should I be close grip benching uh, compared to my wide grip? It's different. Some people are better at close grip. Some people are better with a wide grip. Uh, and it's also, uh, practice. The first time doing pause deadlifts might not be that great, but when you do it more and more and more, that percentage of your regular competition deadlift starts to close. Okay, I really like this question from Galatanaline. What grip is better for a beginner to perform? So I'm going to kind of take this question as an opportunity to talk about grip because I've worked with a couple of people the last couple of weeks and I've talked a lot about grip. Uh, so. I think starting out, if I'm teaching someone how to deadlift, I'm just gonna tell them to take it over, just grab the bar. I don't even tell them what grip to take. I just say, put your hands on the bar and they're, they're naturally gonna put their hands uh, in the double overhand position. So teaching someone, start there. I do think that teaching them the mixed grip or the hook grip early on is a good idea. Everyone wants to run out their double overhand grip to where they're dropping deadlifts. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting used to a hook grip or a mixed grip early on. You're not cheating yourself out of any sort of grip gains because you still have to squeeze the bar even if you're using a mixed grip. And I, I feel like if you increase your, your mixed grip deadlift from 200 pounds to 450 pounds, I'll guarantee you your double overhand grip is gonna increase as well if you care about that. Uh, I was working with a guy last week who said, uh, man, my limit is my grip. I get up to 400, and every time I pull 400, it slips out of my hands. And I said, okay, why don't you do a mixed grip? And he said, well, I do the mixed grip sometimes, but I hate it. The bar swings on me, uh, and I feel like it's, it ruins the rep. And so then I asked him, you know, how often are you uh, doing the mixed grip? And he was only doing the mixed grip with that once he got the 400. So he's doing you know, deadlifts once a week, He's trying to pull 400 with this mixed grip. And that's the only time that he's getting exposure to this mixed grip. And I said, man, you need to start practicing the mixed grip so the bar doesn't swing like that. Of course it feels awkward and, and stupid because you're not doing it often enough. Um, so I would suggest to him and his situation to start pulling more of his reps with the mixed grip so he can get used to it. Same with hook grip. If you're just working up to 405 and trying to pull it with a hook grip, it's gonna hurt your thumbs and it's gonna be a big distraction. But if you start pulling 225 and 315 and 365, start doing some reps with hook grip at a lighter weight, it's gonna be more manageable. So don't reserve your, your mixed grip or your hook grip for your max weight. Start practicing now. Re-coaching, I often see people using the starting strength setup method, myself included, but a lot of people tend to shoot their hips up first. What cue would you give to get away from this? Two things, 
If your hips are shooting up before the weight leaves the floor, your hips are either too low, which brings your shoulders back behind the bar. And so when you pull a heavy weight, your hips come up and your shoulders kind of spit forward over the bar. So your hips might be too low at the start. The second thing is, if you are in the correct position, you have to make a conscious effort to hold that position off the floor. So don't just yank on the bar. Once you're in position, you have to hold your shoulders slightly in front of the bar. Hold your hips in position. Push your feet through the floor. Pay attention, maybe slow your rep down. Pay attention to your positioning off the floor. Don't just yank on the bar, close your eyes, yank on the bar and just get thrown out of position. So sometimes it's just hold that position. Don't let your hips shoot up. Don't drop your hips. You just have to keep telling yourself that. Fra Fiumi, your opinion on the trap bar deadlift. Low handles instead of regular barbell deadlift for strength training, not powerlifting oriented. So I'm glad that you added that last bit of for regular strength training. Yeah, trap bar deadlifts are fine. It's a good form of resistance training. If you're just wanting to lift some weights, then the trap bar deadlift is totally fine. Super Mario Bro tips for avoiding bicep injuries when using mixed grip. <clears throat> so think long, straight arms. You're not pulling any of the weight with your arms. Your arms are cables connecting your body to the bar. So do not pull with your arms. Don't pull with your biceps. If you're using a mixed grip, think about flexing your triceps and that would help lock your arms out. As you squeeze up, as you squeeze your chest up and set your back, you should feel your arms lengthen and you actually feel heavy in your hands because you're pulling that tension or that slack out of the bar. Once you're in position, back is set, arms are long and straight, you feel heavy in your hands, push your feet through the floor. Start the deadlift or initiate the, the deadlift by pushing your feet through the floor rather than pulling with your arms and leave your arms straight the whole time. Kingpin Patty, I had a power lifter tell me that I was rounding too much in my upper back. Other than looking forward, not down, what other, are there any other cues you would recommend to prevent rounding of the upper back? This goes along with the, my answer a couple of questions ago. You just need to handle weights, work with weights that allow you to train with a uh, flat back and maintain your positioning off the floor. I just talked with one of my online clients about this. Mike Teixeira was talking about round back deadlifts and he was saying that if your back rounds when you deadlift uh, and you're deadlifting for example twice a week, use one of the days as a normal competition deadlift and if your back rounds, so be it. The second day should be flat back deadlifts. So you need to use a weight that allows you to train with a flat back. So take that for what it's worth. Fake internet persona. Hey Alan, sometimes when I deadlift, the bar will come down faster on the left side than the right. As in the plates on the left side touch the floor first. Is there anything I can do to uh, look out for in order to fix this? First off, make sure your head is straight forward or you know slightly down or whatnot, but you're not looking side to side. Sometimes I see people, every time they lower the bar, they'll look to one side uh, and you might be doing that or when they bench, they'll turn their head a little bit and look to one side. I don't know why, but it's common. Uh, and the obvious cue that I'm gonna give you, you need to think about lowering the right side first, and that might even things out. So if you are crooked, having a reverse crooked approach might straighten things out. Also the obvious stuff, like make sure your stance is centered on the bar and make sure you're grabbing your hands evenly on the bar. Gabriel Martin's fitness. How to teach the deadlift for someone who doesn't have strength to do 135. Bumper plates, they have, some, they have as little low as five pound training plates. So you could get a pair of those. If you don't have those, you can do rack pulls with an empty barbell or a little more between the empty barbell and 135 to where you set the bar a little below mid shin. If you don't have a rack that's capable of doing rack pulls, just prop the weight up on blocks. Pretty easy question, dude. All right, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, always remember, turn on time. Hey! Enough with the jibber jabber, let's check it out.